Hey Phil, Justin Long here from Pacific Idea. I have your samples uh, here in front of me. Um, and I have, I have the lights off here so that you can actually see some of the patterns. Um, we're, what we've done is we've kind of identified a few different type of products. Um, right here, this one is a, is a Honeywell imager. It's a fixed position imager. It's actually quite small. You can see it has a kind of an auto sense on it. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty small unit. It's about an uh, inch high, maybe a little less than three inches long. Here's the uh, quantum that we had a lot of hope for. And if you can see here, I'm standing right here, and here's the, here's the basically this is the scan pattern that you see that comes from this unit. The one nice thing about this particular reader is if you look at your paper here, it's a pretty tight omnidirectional pattern. If we move to the next omnidirectional, um, which is an Opticon, you can see that there's a little bit of a difference. It's actually a little, I'm not sure if the video shows it, but it's a little wider. Um, there's a lot more separation between the lines. The issue is, is that <coughs> uh, the barcodes that you have are, are pretty uh, tight in regards to uh, narrow bars. So the ba bars and spaces are really small. If we put it up against this quantum, let's say, we can get it to read, but it's really sensitive. You can hear that um, right there. Now, if I turn it, it's a little bit more sensitive. So now, you know, as far as getting into a specific field of view, um, it's, it's pretty close. So it's a more of a distance type of, of game there. This particular Opticon reader doesn't work nearly as well in regards to scanning it. And I think it's due to the just the size of the barcode. But I think our favorite right now is the Imager. The Imager basically provides 360 degree orientation. You can see I just barely put the sample in and it read. And I, I wasn't really concerned about distance or angle or anything like that. Um, it's got a nice auto sensing uh, function and you can see it just read again. So as far as uh, a unit that is, um, you know, I guess super responsive, we would choose this Honeywell 4980 scanner to read these codes. Um, the next one down probably is the Quantum, this guy, but I would say that this unit here is a lot more susceptible to distance and angle. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks.